Speaking of uh, physical harm, the lovely Nia. Um, last night, she, um, she, she like bent down to get something out of her bag and there's this little fucking ledge above it that she can stick like a couple of glasses and a bottle of water. And she was underneath it, bent down, came up full speed, and the corner of it hit the fucking top of... She hit the top of her head right on the corner of it. Like, brutally hard. And um, I gotta tell you, I feel bad that she's not part of this fucking little story here. See if I'll bring her in, because I failed miserably as a human being. Nia, do you want to be in on this story of you hitting your head? Okay. I, okay. I'm setting it up now. So anyway, she fucking hits her head. Like fucking bam. All right. Sounded like somebody dropped a suitcase on the floor. And then I swear to God, she hit her head. She goes, ah, and she grabbed her head. And then I swear to God, she just started crying. Like a goddamn toddler. And I have to be honest with you. I didn't know what the fuck to do. I just got to the point near where you hit your head. And you started crying like a toddler. And Why is that be like a toddler? Because that's what it reminded me of. It's like when a little kid. Like if an adult hits their. You know stubs their toe. Hits their foot. It's goddamn motherfucker. And then you blame your whole family. Get out of the living room. You know, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. You started crying. I did. It was really painful. <laughs> like bawling. Yeah. And uh, I was kind on of a surprised scale, at myself. On honestly. a scale of one to five, five being the best. Five. How would you, no, no. How would you rate my reaction to it? Oh, zero. <laughs> <laughs> we t I, I went in and I got you some tissues. This is what Bill did. I didn't know what to do. It I hit me my up. head. Boom. I was shocked at it first because it really did feel like someone had just come up and just walled me on the noggin. <laughs> so I was shocked. And then the pain started kicking in. And like <coughs> it was really, re like it was like that little, it was, it was that corner of that ledge. Yeah. And it went right into my scalp. And I didn't know if I was bleeding or what. And I, I think, yeah, normally I'd be like... <sighs> Like most people, but right. it just, I, I don't know what happened. Just the floodgates opened and it felt better to cry than to pretend like it was just like, oh, like a nuisance. Like it really, really hurt. So Bill's like, oh no, are you okay? <laughs> so we're good so what far. What else was I supposed to do? So we're good so far with that. Okay. And so I'm just sitting there crying and he goes, oh, 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 oh. and he runs into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even give me a tissue, like a proper I clean. I couldn't find any. He gets me toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> if there is a choice between tissue paper and toilet paper to comfort someone, ah, please Jesus. find the Kleenex. Okay. It's softer. It's just, you know, it's just, it's a little thing, but it makes a big difference. It's a cut up. So then he starts wiping my face. <laughs> <laughs> with the toilet paper. <laughs> and away. he's rubbing it on my face. No, oh, no. Wait. And he's wiping my shit. <laughs> he's doing like this U shape from my eye to the other eye, using my chin as like the go between. <laughs> so it wasn't that rubbing, bad. Rubbing this fucking <laughs> one ply to the toilet paper back and forth across. <laughs> and he's going big tears, big tears. <laughs> they were huge. And it's like I never what, seen anybody cry tears. What is that supposed to mean? Was it big tears, big tears? It wasn't like <laughs> oh baby, you know. It was he was just scraping my face. I gotta be honest with, with you. this toilet paper, going big tears, big tears. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. It was fucking, it freaked me out. It was the worst moment of comforting you've ever offered in your life. Yeah, you you were at a head. complete loss for what to do. Because it was like you stopped being like a woman and you became like this two-year-old. And it was just like, boom, and you're just like, yeah. 
<laughs> I was just like, I didn't know what to do. If we were at home, I would have got you a popsicle or something. Oh, and then you said, do you want some water? I'm like, what the fuck does water have to do with anything that's right what, now? That's what my parents always did. If you hurt yourself and you cried, they went and they got you water right out of the tap. <laughs> and then you sat down and then your face was all dry and salty. And they said, all right, go back outside again. That's it. I spent most of my childhood outside. That's what parents did. All right, get outside. All right, you kids. You're driving me nuts. Get outside. <laughs> And you just sent him outside. That's what you wanted to do with me in that moment. You wanted to send me away so you wouldn't have to deal with it anymore. I just wanted you to stop fucking crying. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's just like to see another adult. Mia, can you imagine if I, if I ever hit my fucking head and started crying the way you did? I mean, what would you know? What would be coming out of your mouth? I don't know. I'd be like, oh, come here, baby, and I'd hold you to my chest or whatever, Mia, and I'd rub your back. You're full of shit. If I fucking hit my head and started crying like a little... <laughs> girl was it really that like it was like a little it was like a little uh, I, it was we went st- I, I, I'm fucking stammer here <laughs> you stammering jackass yeah I've known you for 12 years I've never seen you I've seen you like you see me cry before a couple times in the and... kitchen you fucking you, oh. you, you cut yourself with a knife and even then you didn't cry as much that was like you know you had a balloon and the thing <laughs> went, went off your wrist and floated up in the air <laughs> There was just no comfort in you. It was, uh, yeah, I'll admit, I'll admit, um, not only did I drop the ball in that moment, it's been 24 hours and I still don't have a better approach. <laughs> it was so fucking bizarre. Don't ever do that again, Neil, all right? It, what do you talk? I, the thing is, the really sort of horrible thing about it, the, the biggest injustice of it all, the fact that you weren't able to comfort me, is that I was trying to plug in your fucking computer. Isn't that thing. amazing? Isn't it amazing? I knew somehow it would come back to me and it'd be my fault that your dumbass <laughs> ducked underneath a ledge and then lifted your head up. Ric Flair wouldn't have done it that hard to sell a fucking move. I didn't realize it was there. I was plugging in your computer you and you had up. the audacity to be the worst comforting person in that moment ever. Scratching my face with that oh, yeah. one ply toilet paper while saying big tears, big tears, <laughs> which is like, what does that even mean? It's like I was out in the outfield in Little League again. No batter, no batter. Big tears, big tears. <laughs> he just kept saying, Sawing batter. He just kept saying big tears over and over again. What did that mean? You were I, just I, commenting on it. <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't know what to do. I mean, you were crying at a fucking level like... <laughs> I mean, I've been at funerals and seen people cry less than what the fuck you were doing. I didn't know what to do, okay? I'm sorry. You caught me off guard. Well, tell me, what am I supposed to say? Just, just give me a to, fucking you're blueprint. You're just supposed to, like, you know, take me into your arms and, like, hold me and, like, you know, rub my back or something. That sounds like a commercial for one of those love songs, like, Time Life Presents. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like a real thing that people do to well, each other. Well, I'm telling you that's what I would like. You asked me, so I'm telling you what I would like. I'd like your sunglasses to not be so big. <laughs> How about that? I'm channeling Jackie O on this trip. Jackie O, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> if you ever hit your head again and start crying like a two-year-old. <laughs> Just give me Kleenex, okay? That's all I ask. Don't give me toilet paper. Deal. I don't have to say anything? What do you mean you don't have to say anything? You have to comfort me, jerk. Give me three things to say. Are you okay? Come here. It's going to be all right. You cried way longer than that. Yeah. yeah. And you just have to, like, comfort me. Keep saying that? Are you going to be okay? (laughs) Come here. It's going to be all right. How disconnected are you from human emotion that I have to teach you how to comfort somebody? Crying was a sign of weakness where I came from. Okay, and well, fucking, that was a long time you ago. You man the so. fuck up. Well, man or woman, you did. You know? I don't. You know what happened in that my was neighborhood the first when a time fucking I, kid cried? Uh, All right? You know what happened there? You know what? I'm really they tired of hearing about your. Slapped in the face fucking... and given a Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> Rockwellian childhood or whatever it is that you're always describing. They stuck your head under 
the water of an above ground pool and until they stop seeing bubbles and then they like pull you back up again. Fucking our gang or whatever it is. Like you really like paint a picture like you grew up in like this hard scrabble kind of fucking environment and you didn't. You don't think so? You fell out of a tree and your parents are like, ah, shake it off. Okay. That is what happened though, right? What? Didn't you? Was it you that fell out of a tree? No, I got hit by a car. Oh, right. You got hit by the car. You poor baby. And my parents sent away the ambulance because they didn't like the, the hospital they were taking us to. And I got in a cab and they took, took us to the hospital they wanted to. I remember my mother kept telling me, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Oh, no wonder. Okay. All right. Well, I get it now. No, yeah, I'm not saying I fucking grew up in a, in a, in a, in a slum. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it was, it was different back then. It was, okay. Yeah, it was different. All right, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm a fucking badass, but, like, I, I'm not going to apologize for having a fucked up worldview, okay? Adults taught me this shit, so. All right. Yeah, go talk to them. <laughs> I will. I'll talk, I'll talk to your parents about it. Yeah. Chris. I don't know, just anybody roughly their I'm age. I'm bone to pick with you, Mr. Mr. Yeah, Clark. but you know something, Nia? There? there was an overcorrection. Meaning what? that there's a reason why it went from fucking walled up douches like me who only know how to go, oh, big tears, big tears, <laughs> as I grab toilet paper and make a U-shaped fucking sign around your face, that we went from that to those fucking hipster, hoodie-wearing, beard, fu bearded fucking pussies who act like they're 14 years old and awkward and on their first fucking day. Does every generation think that they're tougher than the, like, the next generation? Is that just what happens? I don't think I'm tougher than anybody previous to me, and I don't feel like I'm tougher than anybody, like, anybody now that, there's so many fucking places in just the United States alone where kids grow up way tougher than I did. But what I'm doing is I'm defending the fact that I don't know what to do when an adult <laughs> right. hits their fucking head and cries like a two-year-old, all right? I got it. Nia, I'm not trying to have some, like, Olympics backstory here. Before you watch me play ping pong or some other stupid fucking sport that nobody cares about, I got to tell you the ping pong's pretty cool. And I did watch the uh, I did watch a little bit of the uh, the uh, the volleyball. I watched the United States unfortunately lost to Italy. I did watch that. You fucking slippers are loud. I'm sorry. Um. I don't know, you guys know what I'm saying. What the fuck? A goddamn adult starts crying like a two-year-old. What are you supposed to do? Jesus Christ. Other than be like, for the love of God, can you get your shit together? I felt like being like Barnes in uh, Platoon, just grabbing Nia and be like, take the pain. 